Another video from FastTech, and this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to install any SSD or a regular hard drive into your Xbox One. This applies to Xbox One, original Xbox One S and Xbox One X. Uh, and you can do this method with solid state drives and regular hard drives alike. So what you're going to need is an SSD uh, and a USB to SATA adapter and a Windows running computer. Uh, we sell the adapter and the SSD on our website. We might start selling Windows computers soon too, I don't know. But for now, we do sell both of these items on our website. So do check this out. You're going to plug in your adapter into your SSD. Plug it into your computer. I'm going to zoom in. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run command prompt. You just search for it on Windows 10, right click on it, run it, run as administrator. That's very important. Press yes. Uh, now there's a program that you're going to need and I'll put a link in the description. All right. Now we're going to go into the folder where the program exists, which is CXB1. Uh, that's where it is sitting in my computer. I'll just show it to you guys real quick. It's right here, CXB1. And these are the files. I've pasted it in my C drive. Uh, and uh, it's right here. So we're going to select CXB1, press enter. Then we're going to key in create underscore Xbox underscore drive dot bat. Press enter. We're going to be prompted with this screen. We're going to press enter again. Then it's going to show us this menu where it's going to be looking for our SSD. It's taking it a minute. I'm going to unplug and replug it back in. See if that makes a difference. All right, so we're going to see our disk drive listed here, which is disk number two. It's the two terabyte disk drive, roughly speaking, 1863 GB. It's never exactly on point. Uh, we're going to select that disk drive, and you want to be very careful here because if you select the wrong drive, you're going to lose your data on the wrong drive. It's giving us a bunch of uh, prompts here. Now, that's because this drive is already formatted. I'm formatting it again to show it to you guys. You're not going to get this message. But it is, it will ask you to if it will ask you one more time if you want to erase all the data on it and you're going to press y for yes and then we're going to select the size standard which is two terabyte which is the max you can go on an xbox one so we're going to select d i'm going to press enter and now it's going to do its thing we're just going to ignore it we're going to let it do its thing uh, and it's a bunch of windows are going to open up. We're not going to touch anything. We're just going to let it do its uh, whatever it needs to do. We'll take a minute or so. As you can see, a bunch of drives are appearing in my computer, which is what we want to see. All right, looks like uh, it's done doing its thing. Now, the next step here is we're going to download the official Microsoft operating system files. I'm going to put a link in the description box for that as well. Uh, I have them here on a USB stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those files. And when you download the folder that I'm going to put in the description box, uh, it's going to have this folder called system update. Okay, you're going to open that folder, there's going to be a bunch of files in here, we're going to copy all these files, select all of them, copy, Go to the the drive that says, not here, go to the drive that says system update X. 
It's going to be system update two, but you're going to go to system update without the number, the first one, and it's going to be an X. We're going to double click that. We're going to make a folder in here called A, uppercase. And we're going to make another folder in here called, you guessed it, B. And then we're going to copy the files in the A folder. We're going to wait for the files to copy. And then we're also going to have to copy the same files into the B folder. And we're going to take one file out of there and I'll show you guys what that, which file that is. Now that the files are done copying, there's a file in here called updater.xvd. We're going to cut this file and we're going to paste it in the root directory of the system update uh, drive. And then we're going to go back in A. We're going to select all these files, copy them, and then copy them to B. This should be a lot quicker because it's copying from the same drive. So it's gonna be a lot faster this time around. And we're done. And our Xbox drive is ready to be installed. In some cases, you might also need to download the files on a USB stick and plug it in your Xbox to make this work. And again, the link's in the description for that. And when you're done, the results should look something like this, where your Xbox is fresh and doesn't have anything installed on it. Uh, and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button if you want notifications. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.